Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine. That's why I have this weird accent. And now we will make this effect. Let's get started. For this effect, you don't need to have any external plugins. You need to have any version of After Effects and you'll be fine. First, I'm gonna show you hard way how to do this for those of you who are professionals at After Effects. And then I'm gonna show you the most easiest way for beginners to make this shield. Let's open this composition here and here and also here. I know it looks pretty complicated. Don't be afraid. I promise you it gets easier. So I have this reference here. I downloaded this image from web. Also, I set it intensity to 50. As you can see, one by one, I drew all those shapes. Also, I downloaded some funds and links to them will be in description. And this is my final result. So let's see how it was built. You just select this ellipse tool here and draw a circle. Also, you can click and hold and choose a rectangle tool. And then I drew a rectangle and rotate it a bit. Same here. And we have these spikes here. So let me show you how to make these spikes. So first click here and hold. Then choose start tool. Then click anywhere. And start drawing. Like this. I'll set a stroke to about 7. And go here. This is shape which we just draw. Let's scroll down here. And change points to 8. We can rotate it a bit. Like this. So it will look straight. And then we need to play with these two values. Let's make it straight also, like this. Then select this polystar path here and press Ctrl D on keyboard. It will make a copy. Scroll down and let's play again with these two values, inner radius and outer radius. Let's change it like this. So we will get these spikes here. Great. Now let's go to this icon here and select merge paths. Then scroll down here and choose intersect. And that's how I got this shape. You can still make adjustments as you like. So I'm gonna delete it because I already have it. And as you can see I make a copy by pressing Ctrl D on keyboard. And in scale I make it smaller. You can press S on keyboard to bring up the scale. And then another one and circles. Also I have this center here. I drew a circle and then I drew lines. Like straight. Like this. And then diagonal. Like this. And then I used merge paths which we just used. And then we have this text here. I just used different fonts, which kinda looks like our reference. By the way, about reference. That's why I asked you to provide me a link with the video, so I would have a clear reference to make effect as close as possible to original. I also animated these rectangles here. Just press R on keyboard, and that's how I animate it. As you can see, it goes in separate ways. And text I also animated just by rotation property. As you can see, you need just to make them move in different speed. That's what we have. And let me show you how you can write text in circle. You just select this tool here and make this large rectangle like this. And then start typing. Link to this font will be in description. So there we have it. And then click here and hold. And select ellipse tool. Make sure that you select your layer with the text. And then click and drag. Hold Ctrl and Shift to make it perfect. Like this. And release. Here in mask, let's set it to none. Scroll down here. In path options, let's change it to mask 1. Let's double click and type some more. And now let's rotate our characters. Click here and go to rotation. And change it like this. Also, you can change spacing here. Like this. And let's delete some of letters. Just double click here and left mouse click about here. And press backspace to delete some characters. So that's how you type in circle. Now I'm gonna delete it. And then I selected all. And went to layer, precompose. And as you can see, I call it text shield. I did it so I would have two compositions with only text and only shapes. Then I got my composition here, text shield. I know it looks hard, but stay with me. I promise you, it will get easier. Later, I'm gonna show the most easiest way to do this. And for now, let's continue. So I selected my text shield here, pressed Ctrl D on keyboard to make a copy, and I set it a new name which goes Outlines Shield, like this. And let's open our Outline Shield to see what I made. I completely shut off all my text layers and I left with these shapes. 
Then I used my main composition and selected both of these compositions and dropped in my composition. Then I chose mode add and precompose these both compositions again. Layer precompose. And this precomposition I called glow map shield and opened glow map shield. So as you can see, I doubled it a bunch of times. Let's see what I did. I had this outline shield, which we made earlier, and this text shield. Then I made a new solid and dropped on it fractal noise. It looks like this. As you can see, I bring up the contrast here and change scale a bit. And then I typed some expression to evolution. To write expressions, you need to hold Alt key on keyboard and left mouse click on this stopwatch. And then I typed expression time multiplies 150. And that's how I made this animation. And then I changed my track mat to luma mat. And as you can see, these white spots are visible and dark spots are not visible. So that's how I got this animation here. I also animated these rectangles here. And then I duplicated this solid with this fractal noise and set track mat to text shield here. So now I have both of them and have this animation. Then I selected these all layers and pressed Ctrl D. So here, as you can see, I used fast blur to blur it out and use expression on this exposure. So it got me this random glow. And finally, I precomposed all of these layers, selected them and uh, went to layer precompose and call it shield. Then I dragged this shield in my composition here. And here I added curves, drew this shape here. You just can copy all these curves, which you can see here. Then I added these two glow effects. One of them is with low radius. Other one is with big radius and high intensity. Also add some tint to make it less saturated, some bulge to make it look more 3D. And finally curves to low down our glow. And this is how it looks. So let's see how each effect adds up. Curves change the color. Glow, another glow. Tint is to make this less saturated. Bulge to make it look more 3D. And curves to bring down this glow. So now I'm gonna show you the most easiest way to make this shield. And go to file, import, file. As you can see, I made a few pre-renders. Links to them will be in description. Let's import it. And let's see shield normal. So this is pre-render of what I did. And you can use it without making it from scratch. Let's drag it in our composition and set it to add. Then let's select our footage here. And as you can see, I made a little bit of color grading by using curves. You just go to effect, color correction, curves. And blue channel, I dragged it down to make it warmer. And red channel, I bring it up. And this is pretty much it. Before, after. So now select our footage and go to animation, track motion. Let's track our hand here. So this is little square showing what we're looking for and this bigger square is showing where we're looking for. Then let's press here to start our tracking. We lost our tracker, click here to previous frames where we still got it and here frame by frame let's track. Let's adjust it a bit and make sure it all goes right. Okay, tracking is done. Let's go to layer, new, null object. Then click here to edit target and select null object here and press OK. And then here apply and OK again. Let's shut it off for now. As you can see, we are assigned our tracking data to this null object here. Now let's enable our shield and let's put it in right position here. Then press S on keyboard to make it smaller like this. Basically you need just to make sure that this circle inside covers your fist like this. And then choose this pick whip and drag to our null object here. Let's shut our null object like this and see result. As you can see now it's stuck to right place. And now let's animate it at the beginning. Just about here, let's press R on keyboard, then hold shift and press S and press T on keyboard. So we have our scale, rotation and intensity. Let's set keyframe to all of them. Just click and drag to all of these stopwatches here. And just about here, let's make size a lot smaller and rotate it in counterclockwise, like this. 
and intensity let's set it to zero let's also click here to activate it, our motion blur i'm gonna click this toggle switch to see our motion blur here and click here to activate it motion blur as well so now we have this animation let's select these keyframes drag them over and then press f9 on keyboard and this is our result okay it looks good same steps you need to do with this hand here but for this hand i have this pre-render here here it has this animation it looks more fun so let's uh, use it on this hand let's select this layer here and then select here left mouse click and drag over this layer hold alt key on keyboard and once you have this plus sign along your cursor just release it as you can see it changes it so now we have this animation now on this hand here also i made few sparks re-renders like this and like this if you want to learn how to make these sparks you can watch this tutorial here link to this tutorial will be in description so this is what we need right now let's use it drag it in our comp let's drag it like this to see it then let's toggle switch here and change mode to add and let's align with this shield here press s on keyboard to make it bigger okay it looks good and let's also parent to this null object here by using this pick whip just click and drag to this null object try to time it well as you can see it still follows our path so here let's press ctrl shift d on keyboard and then this layer here let's unparent it change it to none and this way it will stay at place like this now let's make this beginning a lot more exciting i'm gonna use this video here called towards camera here i have pre-render of sparks flying in camera drag it in our comp here change mode to add and let's align with our start like here okay it looks good we can change scale to cover all our screen let's press s on keyboard make it a lot bigger like this make sure to cover all of your screen and let's see result so this is how you can make this animation of your shield goes off now let's use other shield here select this shield off then select this shield normal again hold alt key on keyboard left mouse click and hold then drag it to this layer here directly above and release it we change it back so let's now delete these particles here and let's use this movement video drag it into our comp here change it to add and let's time it well when we have this movement let's align it our sparks here let's press s on keyboard to make scale bigger so we have this first movement right then select our movement and press ctrl d on keyboard to make a copy then right mouse click on this layer and go to transform and choose flip horizontal in this way it will make sparks fly in other direction let's time it well you can also press r on keyboard to rotate it like this and let's duplicate this layer again press ctrl d on keyboard i'm gonna drag it above and let's align it with the last movement here also you can press r on keyboard to change rotation and now let's see result and for last let's use this video here which called stay drag it in our composition here change mode to add and let's align here where is nothing is happening also press s on keyboard and make it bigger so now we have sparks at all times and also you can change rotation of our shield just select our shield normal change toggle switch and make it 3d layer then press r on keyboard and at these points you can just change this y rotation like this set a keyframe my advice don't go above 25 percent because it would look really bad as you can see so stay about 25 and then here let's rotate it an other way and that's how you can animate it to follow your hand more precise you can adjust all of these parts as you want and get unique results which you need this project is completely free and will be in description it will contain all of these videos and even this shield composition you can look how it was built 
I have a bunch of tutorials on Doctor Strange movie on my channel. So you can subscribe and check some of these effects also. Perhaps you want me to keep providing you with more tutorials and free files like these. And best way to support my channel is to buy one of my own projects like this After Effects template. You can check more of my templates by the link in description. Also, beside my work, on this site they have even few items for free each month. So you can download few of them right now. Link to stuff for free is in description. I hope you like this effect. Uh, make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.